our actions have moved our policy rate well into restrictive territory, meaning that tight policy is putting downward pressure on economic activity and inflation, and the full effects of our tightening likely have not yet been felt. Today, we decided to leave our policy interest rate unchanged and to continue to reduce our securities holdings. While we believe that our policy rate is likely at or near its peak for this tightening cycle, the economy has surprised forecasters in many ways since the pandemic, and ongoing progress, sorry, ongoing progress toward our 2% inflation objective is not assured. While participants do not view it as likely to be appropriate to raise interest rates further, neither do they want to take the possibility off the table. If the economy evolves as projected, the median participant projects that the appropriate level of the federal funds rate will be 4.6 percent at the end of 2024, 3.6 percent at the end of 2025, and 2.9 percent at the end of 2026. The next question, which is when it will become appropriate to begin dialing back the amount of policy restraint that's in place. So that's really the next question, and that's what people are thinking about and, and, and talking about. And I, I would just say this. Um, we are seeing, uh, you know, strong growth that is that is appears to be moderating. We're seeing a labor market that is coming back into balance by so many measures, and we're seeing inflation making real progress. These are the things we've been wanting to see. The other question, the question of when will it become, become appropriate to begin dialing back the amount of policy restraint in place, that that begins to come into view, uh, and is clearly a discussion topic of discussion out in the world, and, and also a discussion for us. Uh, at, at our meeting today.